When I saw that will be starting project Sons for Ukraine, I feel like I would like to be soldier in army of art. In Ukraine, it's like any possibility to sing, concerts, everything is stopped. Just a couple of months ago, I couldn't even imagine such an opportunity. Singing Ukrainian music in London with Royal Opera House Choir. Just absolutely unbelievable, unreal situation. When we are singing, personally, I feel like I forget about all, you know, worries, scares, something that I cannot leave alone because I'm scrolling the news all the time. All of us have been following on the news the terrible events in the Ukraine and as the war was unfolding we started to think what can the Royal Opera House do to support displaced Ukrainians. So we set up Songs for Ukraine which is a, a wonderful collaboration between displaced Ukrainian singers, the Royal Opera Chorus and learning and participation. We're truly grateful, humbled and honoured to uh, be collaborating with you in this way. So, uh, now the bad news, we have a lot of work to do, so... <laughs> this was a special opportunity to uh, share our art with the Ukrainian guests and just to be there for them, you know, just to talk to them was valuable for us and, and I hope we were able to uh, provide some uh, comfort for them too in, in some kind of way. When you go up, it's good, and the first note when you're going down is also good, we call that contrary motion. The line goes down, but the support goes up. When I first heard the sound of the chorus, I was shocked because it's so good. It's incredibly good. To join with such a big group of, of other singers, um, it's it's incredible. The, the sound sort of resonates through your whole body and it's, it's fantastic. They make an incredible, incredible sound. We sing it so nicely. It's because every Ukrainian wants the same. When they sing it, they think they want freedom, they want a good future for Ukraine, happiness, they want peace. Some of the songs are like 100 years old, you know, but it's very different to think about them right now because it's our current experience. I really want all humans to learn lessons from history and not repeat the mistakes. I really want to sing something much happier, you know. But for us now, it's really important to share this pain and share this experience we feel so someone can learn from it and someone can find support in it. It so comes from the depth of their culture that to hear that from them in their language, from their you know, authentic selves, there's, there's no amount of study, no amount of you know, flashy professionalism can, can really hold a, a candle to that. So the true spirit of it, only, only they can really communicate that, that to us. Being able to be with them and sing alongside them when those are the emotions that they're bringing forward, you know, that really, really strong connection is very humbling and, and really powerful actually because you can feel it. So to be able to do that with them is amazing. Oh yes, lovely stuff. This is ready to go. Music is the universal language of mankind and it has a great healing force. When you sing together, you breathe together. And when you breathe together, that fosters cooperation, synergy, and de-emphasizes strife. And so what could be more fitting the present day? I think this encourage every Ukrainian to fight for the freedom, for this beauty, for strength, for truth. I just want to send a message to people who are in Ukraine that we are here, but we support you. And to believe that this war will, will finish soon. And we will sing again together.